chapter 8 percentage first you have to understand that what is the meaning of percentage but whenever you will hear percentage symbol is like this percentage meaning divided by 100 divided by 100 suppose 5 percentage that meaning 5 divided by 100 denominator 100 then only you can say 5 percentage okay percentage meaning divided by 100 if the denominator is 100 then you can say numerator percentage again percentage meaning divided by 100 if denominator is 100 then you can say 5 numerator percentage if denominator is not 100 then you can't say this number percentage clear so whenever denominator 100 then you can write numerator percentage whenever here percentage that meaning divided by 100 second concept convert into you want to convert a number suppose you want to convert 3 by 5 into percentage then what you have to do you have to multiply by 100 percentage percentage is compulsory 100 percentage after that you cut it then 23 or 60 percentage other ways another method is 3 by 5 into instead of 100 percentage you can write 100 by 100 why because i told you this 100 percentage meaning divided by 100 after that you have to make a box so that you can't cut out this 100 by because you want to make a percentage percentage meaning divided by 100 you want denominator 100 so you can't cut this 100 rest of the number you can cut out 60 by 100 now just now only i told you if denominator is 100 you can say numerator percentage so whenever you want to convert a number to percentage you have to multiply by 100 percentage percentage sign compulsory if you don't want to put percentage sign then you have to divide it you have to multiply by 100 by 100 how because 100 percentage meaning divided by 100 both methods are correct most of the case children are using this method but they are not at all putting the percentage sign if you are not putting percentage sign that is totally wrong clear 3 by 5 into 100 by 100 100 by 100 that percentage sign meaning divided by 100 both method you can follow clear now next concept is convert into fraction 20 percentage you want to convert into fraction 20 percentage meaning divided by 100 it is a fraction okay further you want out cut out you can cut out this also fractionally 20 by 100 also fraction 1 by 5 any one form 20 by 100 1 by 5 both form are correct fraction 20 by 100 also fraction 1 by 5 also fractionally okay next is 20 percentage you have to convert it into ratio form ratio and fraction only one difference is that ratio actually division only one ratio 5 meaning 1 divided by 5 only but children what is the difference between fraction and uh, ratio fraction as it is you can write without cutting also you can write but uh, ratio meaning you have to cut out the numbers and make that fraction into a simplest form and the denominator should have a one common factor that is one one only no other common factor okay so that is called a simplest form after that only you can write the ratio 1 divided by 5 is the one ratio 5 that will be difference between and fraction and ratio fraction as it is also you can write without cutting but ratio you have to cut out the number in a simplest form after that only right okay when they will ask ratio form you have to write in this form note this form okay you will get this form only fraction form after that you have to write in ratios okay next decimal if when you will get a decimal when you will divide a number with a 10 100 1000 when you will divide a number 
by ten hundred thousand etc. You will get a decimal form. Twenty divided by ten. How you will divide? If you want to divide by ten from right side, you have to take a one digit and before you put a point. See twenty one digit I taken and before I put a point. You have to divide by hundred. What you will take? Two digit you take from right side and before you put a point. Thousand three digit here two digit only one two here you take one zero before you put a point clear when you will divide ten hundred thousand the decimal point will be move backwards suppose see you check it three point one two five divided by ten that means point the decimal number do you want to divide by 10 then you take one digit before point not after point before point one digit before only you will count before you take one digit and put a point that means point 3125 i told you decimal will be move back side when you will divide 3.125 divided by 100 take it two digit Here one digit only. Then you take one zero three one two five. Okay. When you will divide by ten hundred thousand, see decimal move backward. Like that, when you will multiply by ten hundred thousand, this decimal will be move forward. Suppose three point one two five into ten. Then what you will do? This decimal number after you count it, this number will be move after one digit. That is thirty one point. Two five, three point one two five into hundred. You will count after decimal two digit. You take a point a point a three one two point a five. Clear? When you will multiply, the decimal will be move forward. When you will divide, the decimal will be move backward. That only you have to understand. So say say eight point one, eight point one only included in UT test. Convert into percentage. introduction part i already told you you want to convert into percentage you have to multiply by 100 percentage otherwise you have to multiply by 100 by 100 most of the children are not putting percentage that is totally wrong if you don't want to put percentage then you have to multiply by 100 by 100 and uh, downward 100 you have to put in one box so that you not at all cut this downward 100 because if the number having the denominator 100 then only you can say that number percentage percentage meaning divided by 100 clear so see 4 by 5 multiply by 100 percentage so 5 and 100 can cut out 20 20 into 4 is 80 percentage Like that, three by four, cut out and write in percentage. Here also two by three into hundred percentage. You can't cut out this number, so multiply two into hundred equal to two hundred by three percentage. You divide it, you will get sixty six point six seven percentage. Like this, one one into hundred percentage is hundred percentage. Four and two by five into hundred percentage. You convert this mixed number into improper fraction. That is twenty two. Point five into hundred percentage cut out twenty into twenty two. You will get a four hundred and forty percentage. Next to question number two, convert into fractions. Given in percentage, you have to convert into fraction. Fraction, you know, numerator and denominator is there. Sixteen percentage. Whenever you will see a percentage, that means divided by hundred. After that, you cut it. You will get a four by twenty five. Forty-eight percentage percentage meaning divided by hundred. Cut it, you will get a total by twenty-five. Like that, five percentage. Five percentage that five by hundred. One by twenty. Twenty-five percentage twenty-five by hundred. One by four. One hundred and fifteen percentage one hundred and fifty divided by hundred. Cut out, you will get a twenty-three by twenty. One percentage one by hundred. Question number three: Convert into ratio. Ratio means already, already I told you. Ratio meaning division only, divid divisional form. But you have to write the separate numerator and denominator and put a ratio sign. Okay. Twenty percentage. Twenty percentage means twenty divided by hundred percentage meaning divided by hundred. Twenty divided by hundred. 
that is 1 by 5. You can write in ratio form 1 denominator ratio 5. Like that 125 percentage, percentage minute divided by 100, cut out, you will get a 5 by 4 ratio form 5 ratio for numerator first, then denominator middle ratio form. Ratio meaning divide only. See. 125 percentage you understood like that 34 percentage also 34 by 100 17 by 50 that is 17 ratio 50 692 by 3 percentage you have to convert this into improper fraction 20 by 3 percentage percentage meaning divided by 100 most of the children will be forget to put the percentage percentage whenever you will see percentage Divided by 100 it will come cut out and you will get a 1 by 15 that is 1 ratio 15. Next is 3 by 5 percentage. Percentage divided by 100. You can't cut out 3 by 500 that is 3 ratio 500. 10.10 10.10 divided by 100 percentage meaning divided by 100. Take out this point. How? After decimal 2 digit is there, so you have to divide by 100, then this point will be vanished. Then 1010 divided by 100 into 100, cut out you will get 101 divided by 1000, ratio form 101 ratio 1000. Question number 4 also convert into percentage, just I told you. Convert into percentage, then you have to multiply by 100 percentage, number is 5, ratio 7. Ratio form given, ratio meaning divide only. 5 divided by 7 into, you have to convert into percentage, so you have to multiply by 100 percentage. You can't cut out, so multiply and write it. Dividing 500 divided by 7, you will get 71 and 3 by 7 percentage. Not forget to put a percentage, otherwise the fully problem is wrong. 2 ratio 9, 2 by 9, multiply by 100 percentage. You can't cut out then 200 by 9 percentage divided you will get 22 and 2 by 9 percentage. Like that 57 ratio 300 57 by 300 into 100 percentage 57 by 3 percentage you will get a divided you will get a 19 percentage. 14 ratio 25 14 divided by 25 into 100 percentage cutting and you will get a 56 percentage percentage you have to compulsory you have to write because you have to change this ratio to percentage only next 360 ratio 45 360 divided by 45 into 100 percentage cut out and you will get 800 percentage one ratio 10 that is 1 by 10 multiply by 100 percentage you will get a 10 percentage Question number 5, convert into decimal. You have to convert this percentage to decimal. 9 percentage, percentage meaning divided by 100. If denominator is 100, then you take a 2 digit and from right side you take a 2 digit and put a point before 2 digit. Clear? From right side you have to count. 0 0.56 percentage, percentage meaning divided by 100. Already point is there. 100 you want to divide by 100 but i told you from right side you have to count it and before put a point already point is there then from point you have to count two digits then one zero is there one more zero you have to put then two digit you will get after that before you have to put a point point zero zero five six clear now 16.7 percentage 16.7 percentage meaning divided by 100 100 divided meaning you take two digit before decimal. See, one, two digit and you put a point. One point, one, one, six, one, six, seven. Like that, 23 and 1 by 4 percentage. Make it in improper fraction. Percentage meaning divided by 100. 93 divided by 4 into 100. You will get a 0 0.234. Dividing time. Okay. You can see how I divided. Okay. 93 divided by 4. Like this. If you want to divide. You can divide also. You will get. But no need to divide. 110. You know 100 meaning. 2 digit. Before put a point. Okay. 4 by 7 percentage. 4 by 7 into 100. That is 4 by 700. That is 0 0.57 divided by 100. 
that is your own way you divide it see 4 by 7 how 4 by 7 I divide it I go to point 57 divided by 100 they see not terminating if and that I taken three digit after decimal three digit after that you see point 57 when I taken two digit only uh, dividing by 100 mini I had to take two digit before decimal I taken two digit and put a point clear question number six again convert it into percentage percentage conversion meaning you have to multiply by 100 percentage 5.7 that means 5.7 into 100 percentage see the question that question number five I told you if you want to divide it by 100 you have to take two digits before you have to put a point multiplying time children you have to take two digit after decimal okay see 5.7 into 100 percentage you want to multiply by 100 mini after decimal two digit that means one is seven other will become zero 570 clear like that 0 0.5 into 100 you want two digit here one digit only put one zero 50 0 0.59 same multiply 100 mini two digit you take and percentage sign 6.125 into 100 after decimal two digit after put point multiplication time decimal move forward dividing time decimal move backward okay see 0 0.3425 into 100 percentage two digit 34.2500 percentage this last zero decimal number last zero no value at all you can you can write without zero also okay here also without zero here also 50.0 mini 50 only clear children i hope everybody understood this chapter very simple chapter exercise 8.1 only in the syllabus so you practice and study well okay